Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to another Monster Spotlight. Today I have something, um, I guess a little bit special. This is the Tanya from last month, Light Tanya. Um, I borrowed a monster from OS's heart. Basically, this was not a planned review. Uh, he basically, he just hit me up, told me that he has the Tanya raised and ready and gemmed and everything. I thought it would be a really good idea because um, a lot of people have her now. They might have not built her, but if you're like kind of on the fence of, um, if you're kind of on the fence of deciding whether or not to build her, I hope this video can can help you out. Uh, we're going to be testing her out in Golden Speed 10. I think this is actually where she shines the most because her her skills, she has like a very, very um, very unique skill. It's a, it's actually a new skill. It's called Merciless Strike. Um, it does more damage to more, the no, number of debuffs um, that are on the enemy. And as a lot of you might know, um, the Golem is very, very weak against Sap because he has a lot of HP. Uh, he doesn't have too much resistance, so if you just sap him and then um, he, he loses a lot of HP. So I was thinking, you know, uh, maybe I could stack a lot of saps on the Golem and then have her do some damage and then see if it, um, you know, does bonus damage against the Golem and, you know, how much bonus damage. I heard from a lot of people that the, the saps actually, like if you have multiple saps on the Golem, um, each of them count as a separate debuff. So you can actually make her hit really, really hard in the golem. So that's what we're gonna we're gonna try out today. Um, so he has her on on a valor set with crit rate double attack. Uh, this one's a 14% crit. This one's also a 14% crit. So it's like around 90-ish percent crit, um, and with very, very high attack because it's a valor set. The other good thing about her, she is she also has an attack lead for dungeons. So it makes her perfect as the leader for um, for Golem's V10. Basically, for people that don't want to use the Light Toad, I think she's a really, really nice replacement. We're gonna try this out and hopefully, hopefully this works out well. All right, I'm gonna stop the auto. Now, um, to test her out, to test out her damage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit one of the Moonflowers ones because the Moonflowers have the same amount of defense. We're going to see how much damage this does and then we'll have like one of the Radices put some sap uh, and then on one of the other Moonflowers and see how much damage that does. Ooh, that is quite a lot of damage. That is like 5 hits of like 10k. It's 5 hits, right? I'm not counting wrong. Alright, we're going to have to um, finish her off. I'm gonna finish these two off. Yeah, it did like it did like uh, sixty percent of the Moonflower's health, but she has built like full attack, so she definitely will do a lot of damage. All right, uh, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can put some saps on her. All right, that's one sap. Um, we're gonna see how much each hit does now with one sap. All right, so it's it, it's like. 30% more. Uh, dang, if it was 30% more per sap, it could it could actually be really, really strong. That was like 14k. Let's see if I can put two saps on this. Nope, only one. Whoops, they killed one of my radices, but uh, it's perfectly fine. Whoops, I should have I should have turned that lower. <laughs> Couldn't even see how much that damage that did. We're gonna we're gonna sap one of the bees, and then we're gonna have her hit the bee and see how much damage that does. Alright, so this is one sap. That was still 13k. That, that was kind of weird. It felt like the math didn't add up. It felt like she did like... She did like 30% more damage. After the first mob. This should hit for like 13k a hit. It's like 12k. I guess, I guess there's a little bit of a difference. Um... 
Unless... Unless the, uh... Unless it's affected by, like, the amount of turns with the sap. That could also be a thing. But I'm gonna try to stack as many saps as I can on this golem. I'm gonna see if she can do some crazy, crazy damage. Alright, there's two saps right now. I'm gonna have her hit the, hit the golem. That's quite a lot of damage. That's like... That's like 8% of the, dam the golem's health. I don't think she's actually that practical, but uh, but it's always fun. It's always fun to see really, really high numbers like this. Doesn't really do that much, to be honest, compared to like just straight out sapping the golem. Um, a lot of people, I, I think before, were asking if she's better than the light toad to use for golem v 10. My answer is uh, probably not because you know, she the light toad also has a lot of saps, and the golem is is a lot weaker um, against that. Um, she might be an attacker, so she might do more damage against the golem. But besides that, it's uh, it doesn't doesn't really help all that much. But still pretty nice. Like if you don't have a lot of sappers, you want to use um, some debuffers, like armor breakers, and. Uh, Maybe expose weakness. You can have her nuke the boss after to do quite a lot of damage. I don't know, for some weird reason, whenever I'm recording, like my eyes always feel super, super tired. Um, <laughs> it's super weird. Like, I don't know. Like, r right before I started recording, it was completely fine. And the moment I start recording, my eyes just start feeling like crazy tired. Um, but anyways, that's, that's pretty much it. I think... Um, I think she could be worth building. Like, if you want to use her as a as a nuker, um, if you have a nuker comp for Golden Speed 10, maybe you don't have a lot of sappers. You might want to. You could use like a full light nuker comp um, if you have certain other monsters like like Vampire, Light. Uh, it's another good light armor breaker. Um, light. Light. Uh, or, or even dark, like if you have some exposed weakness. Well, you can't. You could use light Kiki as well. But I don't think light Kiki works that well on on auto because you, if you have them all attacking at the same time, um, you need to have something else put up the debuff first, and then she attacks after. So I don't think it. I don't. I don't think she's that practical. But I, I think she she can still do some pretty high damage. You know, just just for fun. But that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to do a do a spotlight um, for for the new monster um, just really quickly. I don't have a lot of time currently, but I will very very soon. I promise you guys. Um, I I will be able to make a lot more videos um, very 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 soon. But for now, that's that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.